I think this is great. This is a great opportunity for us to learn how to pull play-by-play -play data and hopefully be able to play around with it. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to show you how to get those D1 baseball um, data and then play around with it. So first, I will say, let me pull it up full screen. I do have a YouTube video that shows you how to pull every D1 baseball data of every school of the current season. Um, now you can go through um, previous seasons as well. What we'll do, what we're gonna do, is we're going to pull the team schedule here, except we're gonna do it last year since we had more data to play with. What we're gonna do is basically pull this schedule right here from the site, and then Bill Petty's Baseball R package allows you to pull that play-by-play -play data of each game uh, with the box score. So let's call our library baseball R. So library baseball R. To find out the school ID lookup again, Bill Petty's Baseball R package, there's a function called school ID lookup, and then school name equals UIC, looks it up, and you can see the school ID is 302 for all of these years. That's through the stringer package, so make sure that's loaded as well. Honestly, it's best to just have Tidyverse loaded, so have Tidyverse loaded too while we're at it. Tidyverse. Get NCAA schedule info, and we saw that team ID equals 302. It gives you this game info URL for each game, and what we're going to do, just say UIC PBP, do a for loop, we'll say 4i, in one, two, number of rows, UIC, squiggly brackets, and then we'll say UIC, PVP, get, NCAA baseball, play by play, and we'll say UIC, and then that dollar sign indicates what column you want to refer to, which is game info URL, and then run that, give it some time, it is pulling through code, the UIC 19, and that's the new data frame, and we'll say plier, LD ply, and then we'll say UIC PVP data frame. Now we have UIC 19, and you can see the magic kind of goes there. You have the game date, you have batting, fielding, description, who struck out, and how you do that is refer to the data frame you want a new column, UIC19, we'll say that dollar sign, and then we'll say batter. Or actually, I'll put that in lowercase to match the rest of the columns. So batter, word, so the word package in stringer, and what string we want to extract, so string, and we'll say UIC19 again. This time we'll say description, and then we'll say start, the first word, and then end is the second word. So now we have at least somewhat of a batter, batter name in this column. What we're doing is we're moving those strings, and then you, you can do like a string replace or a string remove, then a string squish. What a string squish does in this case, so UIC19 batter, String squish, UIC 19 batter, of course. Now what we should have is each player name that, each batter that batted, UIC 19 batter, if else, if the string of the row instance of UIC 19's description says 2P4, which is, you know, a pitcher substitution, if that is true, then that batter um, column row instance should be NA, otherwise just keep it as that previous batter. So we'll run that back to our data frame where it says McCabe 2 pitcher 4 key and then there should not be a batter in that instance because it is a pitching change. We'll say UIC 19 action and we'll say string Extract. We'll do a string extract. And again, UAC 19 description. 
and we'll extract those strings like struck out swinging or what's another one um hit by pitch um we'll just keep it simple by saying singled or doubled or tripled or homered so at least we'll have that um as well as reached on a fielder's choice. So we'll extract those strings. Um, what else? Flight out. So we'll say flight out. Round it out. Um, popped up. So that's just a few basic examples. So I'll run that and just show you what it looks like. So we have action, struck out swinging, hit by pitch, singled, struck out swinging, flight out, popped up, singled. So we can say feel, you know, uh, fell out or reached down a fielding error, UIC 19. Um, location, or I'll say, since that's already saying, batted ball underscore location, do a string extract, say UIC 19, uh, description, and again, we will just search for those strings, we can say first base 2, out at second, Second base, so we know where the batted ball location is. Um, we can say two third base. Why I'm adding two is because we can kind of revert this and say, well, if it says two third base, then we can convert it to the batted ball location being third base. Stuff of that nature. To center field to short stop um, to right field so we can just say to right field to first base to second base to left field to second base, to third base, to first stop, to left field, to center field, to right field. So we'll at least be able to have those batted ball locations. That's saying first base, so like that's out at second, to third base, to center field, to left field, pop to second, and say by shortstop. And boom. That should add that in there, so by shortstop. To center field, homer to left field. So then we can also add things to like to right center. So again, that's what we'll do. We'll add that in there and say to right center. If I say two pitcher, then that batted ball location will also say that for, you know, the cave two pitcher for key. We can also add through the right side as well. And add that as a string, or through the left side. So now at least not only we have batter, we have action, and then we have batted ball location. Next time we'll do we'll work on adding counts, possibly adding pitcher, uh, things along those lines.
but see, and then we can kind of see specific examples like Patrick two left field for smart. So actually, what we can do is in the future when we do add more columns, we can actually create a master one where it says, you know, if if this string contains two position four, um, just put it NA for all those specified columns. Otherwise, keep the specified columns. So I think that's what we'll do next time. Um, if you did enjoy the stream, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, hopefully next time we will go into more stuff. Thanks for watching.